this, <laughs> this is September from the Colorado Fertility Conference. I'm here today with Jenna Bridgewater. Jenna um, and her husband own CJ Chiropractic here in Colorado Springs, and she has some special certifications in um, pregnancy care and uh, newborn and um, pediatric chiropractic care. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you <laughs> tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, so I've got the Webster Technique Certification, which is a special technique that helps women in pregnancy. Um, it really, it can help anyone who is weight-bearing. Um, so once children are able to walk, I can start using this technique with them um, because it's just a great technique to help balance the sacrum, the pelvis, um, and a lot of the soft tissues that support that area. Okay. Um, but it's especially helpful in pregnancy um, a lot of people know it to be the, they call it the baby turning technique. Um, oh, I don't yes. turn babies, um, but it is, it, what it does is it enables um, the mom's pelvis to be more balanced and creates more room for the baby within her because she's more balanced. Okay. And then the baby is able to move into position more naturally like they should be able to. Okay. Um, so that's what it's typically known for, but it's just really helpful throughout pregnancy and really at all stages of life. So what does it mean? Like, what do you actually do as far as manipulation? Um, it's a, it's a special check and then, um, a sacral adjustment. So if I do this special leg check and I'm seeing, um, I bring your legs up, um, with you laying face down. And if I bring them close to your buttock region and let's say your left one, only goes this close to your body, your right one's going all the way up, it's an indicator that that sacrum is probably off balance over technically to the right side. So okay. we talk about that in relation to the top of the sacrum, how that misaligns in relation to the adjacent structures. So then the reason this side isn't going forward as much is because the backside of the sacrum is popped up and preventing that. Oh, wow. Um, and then that creates tension within the neuromusculoskeletal system surrounding. And then um, we just see, you can see it causing back pain, um, a lot of pelvic pain. We can even get into a lot of pubic symphysis issues that go right along with that. Um, okay. So that's where it's really helpful in pregnancy. Um, but again, like I said, weight bearing on up, um, it's helpful because you think about children, they're learning to walk and they fall a lot and they're playing on playgrounds a lot. And that's really where that sacrum really starts to get off kilter there and where chiropractic can come in and help to correct those things okay. and get them on a good start going forward from there. Wow. That's pretty that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So your husband, Chris, does a little bit more of the fertility adjustments, right? Um, he really with fertility, it's such a complicated issue as yeah. I know, you know, yes. um, there is no special one size fits all with this. Um, as many people as there are in the world, there are that many different explanations for infertility. Yes. Yeah. And, I completely agree. Yeah. Um, so what we focus on is getting you healthy because we know that healthy people most likely are going to be able to conceive. Mm -hmm. And you might, you know, feel healthy, feel like maybe you're doing the best you can, but there are some issues that maybe you don't even know about. Um, let's say you were on birth control from the time you were 15 years old until you were 30. Yeah. Well, that's 15 years of toxins building up in your system yeah. that your body is working to overcome. Yeah. Um, so we look at all of these different factors that could be leading into this issue. And what my husband does is a lot of that extra um, nutritional work, um, getting the body balanced with chiropractic. And then we also use applied kinesiology and neuroemotional technique. So those both help to address more of the issues that um, can kind of hide. Yeah. Uh, so you're not gonna see a lot of those issues pop up in your general chiropractic visit. Um, but when we start to actually dig deeper, we find that those things pop up and um, we're able to address them with the techniques that we use in our office. Neuroemotional, that's a fascinating mm -hmm. word and I would love to learn more about it's that. fantastic. <laughs> so is it basically like the nerves are connected to different emotions and when you go through and align the, the spinal column, um, those, yeah. some of those emotions are just sort of released? Yep. So what we're focused on is using it to alleviate physical symptoms 
that are tied to mental and emotional stressors. Okay. So we know that um, in chiropractic, you'll hear people talk about the three T's. Um, so traumas, thoughts, and toxins, those are the three causes of subluxation or those misalignments that occur in your spine that affect the rest of your body and okay. your nervous system. Um, so the thoughts part of it, um, it could be as simple as you're having just a really bad day and it's throwing you off. Yeah, it happens um, all <laughs> it does. Days. And then you think about one of the easiest examples I like to use is when you feel really, really stressed, you tend to feel that in your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And it's because your body is guarding itself. It's in protection mode at that point. So whatever it is that's leading to that stress, it's affecting your body physically. And we know that that's what it is. Um, so what we do is you can probably see there's a chart over on my wall here, uh -huh. um, different colors. Those emotions are tied to um, different meridians within your body, which are tied to different organ systems um, and specific places within your spinal column. And so with neuroemotional technique, we're able to weed out what those stressors are, what the root cause of those stressors are, and then address it with um, addressing the emotion itself and then addressing the body part of it. So the wow. spinal column, as we're treating the emotions, we're treating the body. I love that because I've always, um, I, when I was learning about infertility and mm -hmm. different things, um, PCOS was a huge one for trauma. Yeah. Most women who struggle with PCOS have experienced some sort of trauma and they're holding that in their body. And that's one of the reasons that it causes PCOS. And so this is such a great Absolutely. tool to kind of release some of that trauma. And then the PCOS yep. just sort of naturally writes itself. I can absolutely see that. Um, in a lot of my training, I've learned um, about a lot of these issues that we say most women have that lead to the infertility are actually not the true disease. It's more of your body kind of manifesting those symptoms yeah. because of whatever other root cause is leading to that. So that definitely ties right into that. Wow, that's yeah. cool. So let's get to know you a little bit. Um, you and your husband, you guys are obviously very family oriented. If you come into mm -hmm. this, like you can see the paint job <laughs> on this wall, which is a lot of fun. And like there's a little lion thing over here. And then there's a tent out front. Like this is a very, very family oriented office. And so tell us a little bit about you and your passion and why you do what you do and yeah. the way that you do it. Um, so I originally got into chiropractic, not because I had experienced chiropractic and it was life changing for me. Um, that is my husband's story and it's amazing. Okay. And it is how I'll ask him about his yes. story. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for me, I was actually going into cardiology okay. and um, I had an internship with a cardiologist and he pulled me aside one day and I was loving everything. I'm still a big nerd about the cardiac system. It's just fascinating. It is fascinating. It is. Fascinating. It is. Yes. Um, but he, he let me know one day um, that sometimes his job wasn't what he had hoped it would be. He usually was seeing people in this end stage of disease. So whatever had gotten them to that, he was expected to give them this magic pill, make it all go away. Yeah. And that's what the insurance companies expected him to do. And that's what, you know, the oversight of the hospital expected him to do. And he's like, it just doesn't exist. Wow. Um, but he let me know the best advice he could give his patients was to eat a healthy, balanced diet and exercise regularly. And his patients who followed that advice got better. I, I got to watch <laughs> this happen. It was amazing. Wow. And then the patients who didn't follow that advice, I literally followed someone who came into his office for um, regular visits and then ended up going in for an emergency uh, mitral valve replacement. So I stood in during his surgery, um, completely affected that patient's lifestyle. Um, he and his wife had planned to go to Vegas for a vacation and now no longer could. Um, everything changed for them because they hadn't caught these things early on and changed those lifestyle factors. And so as I went through college, that kind of stuck with me more. And when I got to that crossroads of, do I continue on to medical school? I took my MCAT, I applied, um, or do I go to chiropractic school? I started second guessing everything. And I had a friend in chiropractic school and he said, let me just talk to you about this. And it fascinated me. I was like, so you're telling me you get to just help people get healthy and stay healthy. And people are actually looking for that yeah. and they follow your advice. I'm like that's exactly what I want to do. 
and it fit right back into what that cardiologist had told me, you know, keep your options open, explore other areas. If you want to continue with this route, great, but it seems like you want to help people really be healthy. And so chiropractic is where I found that. Wow. And so it's that, that potential for what it could do for people was what inspired me to go into chiropractic. That's really cool. And then from there, um, I realized, you know, it starts with, you know, birth on and even before then mm -hmm. a healthy pregnancy tends to lead to a healthy baby. Yeah. And you need healthy women going into a healthy pregnancy to have a healthy baby yeah. to be raised into healthy adults. Um, so that's when I realized, you know, pregnancy and pediatrics was really where I needed to be because it allowed me to enter in at that most vital moment of life where we could make the biggest impact. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Thanks. And you are expecting your first. I am. Right? Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to find out if it's a girl or boy? We are. We find out May 31st. I'm oh, really that's so exciting. excited for that. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and then you're also in the process of adopting. While you're yep. expecting, you're in the process of adoption. We are. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So what I understand is you started the adoption process mm -hmm. and then you got pregnant. Yep. And you said, well, we still want to adopt. And we yes. still want this sweet little baby too. Yep. So are you adopting a baby or a child or what's You're your plan? not sure yet. Um, we're adopting from India. And okay. so it's a very long process. We started the paperwork process back in October. And um, we've got one last thing we need to do to complete our home study and then finish our dossier, which is this giant packet of documents that's like <laughs> so everything <laughs> you ever could know about us is in this. Um, once that's completely assembled, it goes to India. Once they approve it, then we're on a waiting list. Wow. And so we're looking at maybe a two to three year wait, depending on how fast things move over there and what children are available. Um, we know we'll be adopting a child with some sort of special needs. And um, they were open to newborn up to four years old. Okay. Um, so whatever, you know, the Indian government says, this is the right child for you. Um, you know, wherever God speaks into their hearts that way, we'll say, okay. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. What a great story. Thanks. I can't wait to see what happens. Thank see you. how this pans out. Yeah. I'm really excited, excited for, for it. <laughs> you guys must have huge hearts to, to do this. One of the things that um, we are doing at the Colorado Fertility Conference is we are going to have a fertility attorney there. Um, she's from Denver, Ellen Trackman. And she um, specializes in adoption and surrogacy contracts and things like that. Cool. So that's going to be really, really cool. So anybody yeah. who's considering adoption, um, yeah, come talk to Ellen. Yeah. So. And can I add something? To yeah, that? of course. Um, so our, I know a lot of women um, have this really strong desire to be pregnant. And something that keeps women from adoption is, you know, I want to be able to have my child as healthy as I can. I want to be able to carry them. Um, our adoption agency actually has this program called the Snowflakes Embryo Adoption. They are one of our sponsors. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we actually have a podcast interview with Kimberly Tyson from Perfect. Snowflake Embryo Adoption. She's wonderful. That yeah. is great. Yeah. So, but what a concept yeah. giving. So what happens is a lot of times when couples undergo IVF, a lot of um, eggs are retrieved and they're, you know, fertilized and become embryos. And then, you know, couples don't necessarily want to have five or seven or 12 children. Mm -hmm. And so they, they go through their cycles and they have the children that they want. And then there's these leftover embryos and everybody says, well, what do we do with these leftover embryos? And now um, some people have come in and said, well, why don't we adopt them out? Mm -hmm. And so they can actually implant these embryos into a woman's uterus and she can carry and deliver her own adopted child. Yeah, it's amazing. It is. And you can even have... They won't be made of your and your partner's DNA, but right. you can have biological sibling sets um, if you adopt more than one oh, embryo yeah. from yeah. the same couple, which is really cool too, if that's something that you're wanting to do. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I'm yeah. glad you brought that up because it's yeah. it's like, it's mind blowing. It is. You know, give birth it's to your amazing. own adopted child. That's, right. It's amazing. It's incredible. So, yeah. Um, so is there anything else that you want to add? What what are some of maybe like the nutritional factors that you guys consider or um, how do you do manipulation to help um, alleviate some of the symptoms of yeah. infertility? And um, so a lot of it just comes back to we do an initial examination to get people started in our office and it is incredibly thorough. We spend about an hour with each person. Um, kids, I don't have to spend nearly 
me as much time with because they haven't been through this whole lifetime of yeah. all of these issues, you know. Um, but it's it's very thorough, and um, a lot of it is history taking. It's a lot of conversation between us to really figure out what you've been through in your life. And so um, with the adjustments, uh, whatever your body and your nervous system is telling us needs to be adjusted, that's what we're going to adjust. And we use very gentle techniques to do that. Um, we use activator, the pykinesiology and neuroemotional technique to address those. Um, but then when it comes into, and this is where the pykinesiology is awesome, it can help us to understand where else we need to go, what other avenues we need to take to address this. Um, so it could be a detoxing, it could be um, adding in nutritional support. Um, we talk a lot about exercise and stress reduction. It's yeah. amazing how much stress will affect these issues. Yeah. Um, we use standard process supplements in our office, so sometimes um, we're able to use specific system focused supplements. Um, so we have things like Ovex and Ovotropin, which help support the woman's um, reproductive system. And then we also have um, similar supplements on the male side to help with men as well. And then that's another thing to consider is if a woman's coming to us with infertility issues, we also need to look at her partner um, because it's usually two-sided. Yeah, um, so it's 50%. 50% male and 50% female as far as like the, the rates and most people mm -hmm. don't know that and so I'm trying really hard to like bring more attention to the fact that male factor infertility is huge it is. and so um, it's not you know just because the woman is the one who's going to carry the baby doesn't mm -hmm. mean she's the one that's um, exactly not able to conceive yep so yeah so yeah. I think that's huge and it's important to talk about it is absolutely so yeah we you know wherever the individual is coming from, we work back through that and the help to guide them um, along changing their lifestyle. That's really what it comes down to and incorporating those healthy lifestyle factors. Um, and we try to do it in a reasonable method. We're not gonna say, you know, you need to change your entire life overnight because right. that's not going to stick with you. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we meet people where they're at and we really understand their journey and try to be a beacon of light in that for them. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, this was a great interview. Thank you so much. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add? I think this is great. Yeah. One, one final question yeah. before we end is, are there, when a couple who's struggling to get pregnant comes to you guys, are there any like commonly asked questions or fears or concerns? Like do people worry about certain things with chiropractic care? Um, Yes and no. Um, usually they have this great hope um, that chiropractic is going to be the thing that gets them to be able to conceive. And I always caution on that because what chiropractic is great at, it doesn't actually treat anything other than the subluxation. Mm -hmm. um, but in correcting those subluxations or those misalignments in your spine, you're opening up your body's energy, its ability to heal itself, for your nervous system to communicate with itself through your whole body and with all of your other organ systems. So if you've got a healthier nervous system, you're going to have healthier organs. And getting people to understand that, that we're just trying to get you healthy. And if a byproduct of that is you get to conceive, that's amazing. We really hope that for you. But, you know, we also try to get them to understand, you know, this is where you are and help them to accept that. Okay. Um, definitely don't lose hope moving forward. But um, I think that's more of what it is, is it's this, you know, maybe we're the last resort and they've heard that chiropractic can help and it absolutely can. But it's more chiropractic can help you be the healthiest you and the healthiest yeah. you is more likely to have a baby. That's awesome. Yeah. I love the way you put that. That Thanks. was great. So tell us, um, CJ Chiropractic, how would anybody get a hold of you if they wanted to? Um, you can call the office, 719-445-0806. Um, we also have a website, cjchiropractic.com. Um, and then we're on Facebook and Instagram as well, but Facebook is definitely better maintained than Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> for me, Instagram yeah. is rough. 
<laughs> so yeah, those are definitely the best ways to get a hold of us. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. The Colorado Fertility Conference is coming up next Sunday, May 26th. So if you're on the fence about getting your tickets, you really, really want to go to the website right now and go get your tickets, um, coloradofertilityconference.com. We have an amazing lineup of speakers, and it's going to be just a phenomenal day. So, And you have the opportunity to get a $20,000 surrogacy grant, um, a free cycle of IVF, and uh, CJ Chiropractic is giving away five exams, um, which thank you, That's of course, <laughs> um, and a ton of other prizes. So there's so much stuff that we're giving away, and you get free lunch. So it's all included. It's going to be a fun day. So come, uh, go get your tickets for the conference at coloradofertilityconference.com. Thank okay, you, Janice, of course. Thank you.